one. Okay, the overall energy of today's reading is the person who's on your mind the most, the person that you want to know about today. I've got an energy that they're very almost angry at their family. Okay, they are now perceiving, almost blaming their family for playing some part in your breakup. What I can see from this spread is that they are carrying a lot of guilt, your person is, disappointment, okay, and burdens. There was a lot of maliciousness, two-facedness within this family setup that caused, I'm seeing a rather swift, possibly unexpected breakup, okay? This was a sharp, unexpected breakup. Like I said, it's got a lot to do with family. Your person is cross. That angry all right but what I'm going to what I'm hearing to look into today is has your person accepted responsibility for their part in all of this okay because I do feel they're blaming their family in particular one particular person a female okay female who is two-faced all right quite sneaky tends to get people wrapped around her little finger but has your person taken their side of this okay yeah they are grieving the end of your relationship i feel this is a relationship that split up a while ago to be honest with you today and i feel that you have never had closure but also that your person when this happened didn't see or didn't accept what had been going on with this family situation. Really, really sort of messy. It was just a mess, I just see a mess. But your person is grieving at the end of your relationship, okay? I'm almost getting today that you, in the end, thought, you know, I've had enough of this. It was a very sharp ending. When it ended, it was quick. This could have been coming on though for a while, but I feel somebody made a very quick decision. Like you could have maybe meant to do something and you just, you literally just changed, you just changed your mind. Somebody changed their mind and it was over. All right, so I'm going to have a look at their thoughts and feelings now about the past, okay? And see, like I said, if they're actually, if they're actually taking any responsibility or have they now just shifted the blame from you to their family? Right, just while I'm shuffling this though, if you would like a personal reading, if you just click on the title of the video, the link's in the description box, that'll take you to the website. Also, free relationship report, go check that out. Let's have a look. Let's see how your person sees the past at the moment. They're upset about the past. They are very, very with this card as well, they are very, very disappointed. They're grieving. Okay, they are very, uh, they're not feeling very linked into their family at the moment. Okay, even if they're talking to them, because they have to, I heard, they are not communicating like they used to. All right, they feel very alone, they feel very sad. But yeah, with the Five of Cups, the past is still hurting them. Okay, they're still grieving over what happened. It's almost like they do want to build a bridge back to you, but they're very absorbed. Okay, so I'm gonna pull some new, some new cards, some more cards, because I'm hearing that, yeah, they are grieving you, they are disappointed, okay. They're, they're missing you, they're feeling the separation, but they're still a little bit possibly in victim mode, which goes back to what I've been hearing to ask about this energy today is, have they taken responsibility? Okay, have they taken responsibility? Let's see how, a couple more for the past, please. A couple more for the past. Yeah, oh. They've realised, okay, they have realised that you, you and your person, sorry, you and this person had a really, really good opportunity to build something really beautiful here, okay. You had a golden opportunity. Something could have even been handed on 
to you on a plate, you could have had the opportunity to move, but there was a substantial almost amount of money. And I don't, it doesn't have to be like millions, but it was enough money to give you a leg up, to get something off the ground, okay? But they are now seeing that somebody, this is really specific, there was somebody going back to this family who was very suffocating and who was controlling, okay? Your person felt trapped within this family along the lines of some financial obligation or somebody was dangling a carrot over their head, okay? They are looking back now, your person, at the past with great disappointment, how they managed to blow it, whatever they blew, they blew it, okay? And also they can now see that they were trapped in this cycle. Okay, they can see that it was mainly in your person's head. This could go back with family to childhood. Okay, they could be misplaced, I'm hearing, divided loyalties. Okay, but I will say your person sees it. They are disappointed. They are sad that this happened the way it happened. On a separate note, there's somebody here who could have been frightened of being ostracised, pushed out of something, okay? Pushed out of something and they were frightened about some gossip or possibly something coming out to the point that your person got so much in their head that they became a little, I want to say paranoid, but that's all they could think about. That's all they could think about. I feel for your energy that this situation definitely caused you a lot of pain. I think you could have put something substantial into this, whether it's just your time. This can just mean physical time. Yeah, it doesn't have to be moolah. But you felt trapped in a situation not of your making. That other people had control in some shape or form over your relationship by either financially or what they were saying. Okay, your person had misplaced loyalties. And I can see now why they are angry. They are angry. Okay. Let's see what they're projecting out as opposed to what they're actually really feeling deep down. Okay, yeah, they're still telling the family that it's over. All right, the death card. The death card is what they are telling people. So it's over, it's finished. You know, I've moved on. That kind of energy, okay? Let's see what they're feeling deep down, please. What's going on deep down, please? Deep down, this person still would like to provide a stable, loving environment for you, okay? Deep down though, they do worry about money, I feel. I feel they do worry about money. But deep down, I feel this person is very disappointed. I think they are carrying a lot of heavy energy because I'm hearing that when you were with this person, at some point in your relationship, they wanted to be someone who could provide for you. I say it's not always about rocks of money, but just somewhere to live, stability, kindness, okay? They still, deep down, see themselves as the one for you, okay? But... They are still projecting that this relationship is over. They are slightly still in a victim mode. I think they're scared. I think they're scared to almost give up some form of comfort or security. Or they're frightened of being ostracised. Oh, I can't say that word, you know. They're frightened of being pushed out, that's easier, that's better, Keely, pushed out of this, like, gang, this sort of family energy, okay? I feel today this person loves you. 
They are in pain, they are carrying regret, they are feeling guilty. They know that you depended on them in some shape or form and they let you down, okay? They let you down. They pro they, I just think that somebody promised you, if not, you know, travelling the world, somebody promised you a stable, gentle, you know where you go where your home is your castle connection okay i don't think that who i'm reading for today i don't think you always needed loads of friends to be happy i think you and this person are quite happy in your own little bubble if only people had left well alone but unfortunately your person was linked into this family situation okay it's almost like you didn't have the freedom as a couple. There was some tie here that just could have been broken. That's what's sad today. It could have been broken. Okay. All your person had to do was get out of the Eight of Swords. That's all they had to do. But they, they felt they were trapped in it. But they were trapped in their head. Okay. And also, I think they have a slight inclination to feel a bit sorry for themselves so instead of putting their foot down with a great big you know this stops right now they chose to ignore it and somebody ended this relationship because of that okay they, they ended it because of it so the next thing i'm going to go into is i would like to see what your person would like to say to you now okay and then after that, I'm going to look at your person's environment as of today, whenever you see this reading. What would they like to say, please? We have too many different values. Yeah. I don't think they're saying that that's, I'm not getting today that they don't love you. Okay. But I feel what they would like to say is some form of admission because we have too many different values for me quite often is the way you're brought up and then that is leading into this family situation all right I feel today that you got to a point where you thought this is absolutely crap you know I can this you couldn't tolerate it anymore okay you couldn't tolerate this anymore. The lies, the manipulation, okay, could have been possessions, could have been property. Um, it could have been somebody who saw themselves as the head of the family, even though they weren't. Even if the head of the family or the parents had actually passed away, there was one person in this family who assumed responsibility and your person didn't see it. They chose to ignore it. I feel this shocked you today because when you were with this person at some point, you were happy. You were happy. What else, what else would you like to say, please? Destiny. I'm struggling to find the right path. Yeah, they're, they're lost. When they look in their present energy today, everyone, when this person looks back at the past, they are sad and they are lonely. All right. And they are carrying... A burden they could have been with those two cards religious differences okay I'll just throw that out it's there um, that could possibly had a bearing or there was a lack of acceptance here there was a lack of acceptance reminiscing yeah they are they they're reminiscing they're sad they're looking back at the past before I even go to their environment, because this is how they're seeing the past today, I feel they're not happy. They can't get over what happened. And there possibly are other things in their life they could be doing. But it's not rocking their boat. Okay, it's not rocking their boat. What's going on in their environment, please? There's somebody very selfish in their environment, okay? I feel that your person is only there to get their own needs met, all right? But it's backfired. It's backfired because I'm going back to head of family, female, 
bossy person. This person's main aim in your person's environment is to get their needs met. It's almost like they're really quite a selfish family. Quite a selfish family. Yeah, towers in the environment. Yeah, it's going to end. It's going to end. There's going to be a big shake-up in your person's environment. Um, someone's going to actually have a bit of an ego death. Whether it's your person or this head of family or bossy female, somebody is going to literally have the smile wiped off their face. Okay, where it's almost like somebody in that environment is sitting pretty, gloating, counting their money or counting all their successes. Look at me. Well, be careful what thou wish for with that combination. Okay. What's this tower about, please? What's the tower about, please? Yeah, it could be a third party as well. If there is a third party, that's going to end because the Three of Cups is out, all right? But there is a situation, a friendship. This can represent siblings. A friendship or a situation where there have been a lot of fun times or, you know, all this little clique. What is that saying? Two's company and three's a crowd, okay? That is what is going to end here. If you are connected into somebody who prioritised the emotional well-being and happiness of their family or even possibly friends going out with family, partying with family, socialising with family, could be friends. The, those, the good days are coming to an end, okay? The good days are coming to an end because right at the beginning I feel that your person has realised now that there are fake people in their situation, okay? It all seemed very jolly, all seemed very jolly. But this one person is, I just, it's just ending up. I can see the, the fruit there, it's just decaying. I feel it, the situation's decaying now, as we speak, as I speak. But I feel that it will suddenly just come crashing down, okay? Anything else in the environment, please? Yes. That is a very stuck situation, okay? Your person is feeling stuck in their environment. Um, they're not happy, all right? The energy is stuck with the hangman. For those of you who read tarot, you know, it's just, you're just kind of hanging around, literally in a general reading, um, waiting. Okay, it's almost like your person is pulling their energy back. They're trying to get a clearer perspective on what they can do or what not to do. But somebody in your person's environment is fed up of making sacrifices. I feel it's your person because of the initial cards. Okay, they're sick of the burdens, they're sick of the grief, they're sick of the whole lot of it. All right, they're sick of it. That's all I keep hearing is they're absolutely sick of it. Okay, let's see what this deck wants to see. These cards are for you. Okay, I'm going to go to outcome. I will go to outcome. Um, there's just been an excess of gluttony and greed in that environment. And it's not just financial. It's more to do with emotional manipulation but also it can be excess partying and alcohol. Um, okay, it's just an excess of it all. Let's just see what these want to say, please. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. That's for you, for those of you today, that's why the energy is so strong for you. You know, there are sometimes connections in life, well, I can only speak for myself, um, but sometimes connection, some connections are, you know, they come and go. But this is a strong connection. This shouldn't have happened. This shouldn't have happened. Okay. And I do feel that even if the other person ended it, I feel that you in the end cut it off. Swift. Give me two more, please. Give 
Right, yeah. I think for you, you have cut it off. I think you know it's a soulmate connection, okay? But I think what you've started to do is go out. You've become more light-hearted about it. For some of you, you just might know that at some point you will see this person again, okay? At some point. I feel your energy, you've had time to reflect. You've given yourself some form of closure. But also, as I often say in readings, that it... it, it encourages you to realize just how good you are just yourself you know you are pure love just on your own you started to give that love to yourself and i feel that your energy is becoming more magnetic and you're possibly even if you're just attracting strangers who just suddenly say hi talk to you or you'll be i just feel your energy is rising okay it's rising you have got out of a situation where it suffocated you, it controlled you, the family could have been controlling you, you could have felt suffocated, maybe you couldn't make the decisions in your relationship you wanted to make because of all of this. But what you've done is you've let go of the control of this, you're just doing your own thing, okay? And you know, this, when you do this, when you let go, the energy changes. I can see you attracting other people into your life, okay? But your guidance card is, if this is for you today, okay? If this is your energy today, you're being asked to allow this to unfold naturally. Just let it be okay you pulling your energy and becoming light-hearted towards others is switching this energy because i do believe again just based on my own life right because i never talk about stuff that i really don't know about that somebody who is a soulmate can feel your energy retreating okay they can feel it because we are all energetically connected, especially with some people who form a very, very strong energetic bond. The sort of bond where you can finish each other's sentences, you know what they're thinking, they're feeling, you just know, all right? Allow it to unfold naturally. Let us see if, because like I said earlier, your person is still projecting out that this relationship is over. I feel it's because they are trapped and restricted and they cannot do anything else. I know their environment is going to shift. There's going to be a massive, massive shake-up. Okay, a massive shake-up in this environment. The stagnant energy that they're in is going to... And a friendship or a connection is going to end. Let's see what the best possible outcome is at the moment, please, based on all of this energy I've got here today. Oh, I love this deck, but it is so difficult to shuffle. They're going to come back, the Empress. Okay, I feel they are going to come back in. Yeah. Yeah. Not straight away, okay? Central energy, start, I've got three cards here. They are hoping that you will forgive them. Okay, they are going to, I feel, it's a good reconciliation card, the star. They are hoping that you will forgive them. They, they're not losing faith that you have let this go, all right? They feel your distance. They probably dream about you, okay? For me, the star is always a soulmate card. Every read is different, but I always feel the star is a very strong, open, honest soulmate card, okay? They see you, whether you're male or female, as the emperor. They feel very comfortable with you. They see you as, your, as, as their person. The only thing at the moment Okay, and this is really interesting because I'm getting that they want you, I'm getting they love you, and I'm getting they miss you, Empress. Central energy, though, Seven of Cups. They've got to make a decision. 
you know and I can see they are stuck and they are still telling people it's over because they are restricted possibly financially restricted they have got to get out of this self-absorbed energy stop piffing around and they have got to make a decision all right so I see at some point in the future could be the distance in the distance you know I, this energy is stuck as as of today when you see this reading but you know stranger things happen all right you could be manifesting this person back in if you are actively manifesting this person back in i see with the star that you will do that okay but eventually eventually when your person makes their mind up they are going to come back in but i feel that's because you're pulling your energy back okay i feel that's because you're pulling your energy back now obviously this reading is for those of you who actually want this i feel today so please take what resonates i'll just get you a card out yeah yeah this is for those of you who really do want to reconnect deep down okay because your your energy in the past was orphaned you felt very left out of this situation very depressed very you know i can understand that with all this family crap going on here but there isn't your present energy unfinished symphony this isn't over yet it's not over and you've got the good luck card in the future so whatever you are wanting manifesting wishing for it is going to come in for you okay it is going to come in for you um but there is definitely unfinished business here between you and your person today so i shall leave that with you okay take good care always put yourself first always remember you're the queen the king on that pedestal okay you're the one you you know they can what i'm trying to say here let them make the effort just remember your own self-worth in all of this okay because it has been a struggle especially that was you in the past all right so i'll leave it with you Loads of love. Take care. Bye.